Hi, I'm Carrie Doherty, host of Geeking Out. I'm gonna speed walk you through classic movies in their entirety from start to finish in one take. If you haven't seen them, I hope this inspires you to get off your butt and watch the real thing. And if you have seen them, let us stroll hand and sweaty hand down memory lane together. Warning, there be spoilers. This is Classic Movie Cram. Next up, The Big Lebowski. The movie starts with some guy's voice that says, I want to tell you about this guy Lebowski who calls himself the dude. And then we meet the dude in a grocery store and he's wearing sunglasses and a bathrobe and slippers and he buys some half and half and he goes home and these two guys jump him. Woo and the guy who played Jacob on Lost. And they put his head in the toilet and they go, where's the money Lebowski? And then Woo pees on the dude's rug and the dude's like, not in the rug, man. And then they realize they're at the wrong Lebowski's house. Then the dude's bowling with his two friends, Donnie and Walter, and they're talking about who should compensate him with the rug. And the dude's like, the guy who peed on it. And Walter's like, no, the other Lebowski. And then he tells Donnie, you're out of your element. And they're all worked up because the rug really tied the room together. So the dude visits the other Lebowski and gets a tour of his office by assistant Brand, who laughs like this. <laughs> And then the other Lebowski is old and rich and he's in a wheelchair and he tells the dude he's not responsible for his rug and so the dude's like F it, and he takes one of his rugs. And on his way out he runs into Lebowski's wife Bunny who's a total slut and goes blow on my toes. And later we learn she's a porn star who works for a guy named Johnny Treehorn. Back at the home, the dude mixes a white rush and he drinks like a thousand of these throughout the movie. And he gets a voicemail from Brant asking him to come back to Lebowski's mansion. And Lebowski tells him that Bunny's been kidnapped and he wants to do to deliver a million dollar ransom. Back at the bowling alley we meet the Jesus, who wears all purple and he has rings on his fingers and he wears a hairnet and he licks a bowling ball like this, blah, 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 blah. and he's a really good bowler, but he's also a pedophile, but he tells Donnie the dude and Walter, nobody f with the Jesus, and he's totally weird and creepy. Then the dude's back home listening to bowling tapes, and he closes his eyes, and when he opens them, three people are standing in front of him. He gets punched in the face, and then he daydreams he's flying over LA like this, la 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 la, and when he wakes up, his rug is gone. Then Brant gives the dude the million dollars in a briefcase and a phone, and he's supposed to toss the money over a bridge to get Bunny back, and then Walt picks him up and says that the girl probably wasn't even kidnapped, and when they drive over the bridge, Walt throws out a briefcase full of dirty underwear, totally the plan. Then Walt jumps out of the car, the gun goes off, it shoots out the tire, the dude crashes, Walter's like, let's go bowling. Back to the bowling alley, the phone keeps ringing, and the dude is worried that the kidnapped girl, and then Walter's pissed that he has to bowl on Shabbos. When they go into the parking lot, the dude's car is missing, and if they remember it had a million dollars in it. Then the police come to the dude's apartment and he tells them that the car and his rug have been stolen and he gets a voicemail from a woman named Maud Lebowski who's Lebowski's daughter but she also took his rug. So the dude goes to her studio and she's naked and she's strapped in a harness flying through the air and throwing paint into canvas and she's like the word vagina makes some men uncomfortable. And then she tells him that Bunny is using her dad for his money. It says if he can get the briefcase back she'll give him a hundred thousand dollars but she won't give him back the rug because it has sentimental value. Outside his apartment the dude gets thrown into a limo where Lebowski and Brent confront him about the missing suitcase and then Lebowski gives the dude Bunny's severed toe wrapped in gauze which makes it very real again. Then the dude's at home taking a bath and gets a voicemail from the cops saying that they found his missing car. Then three Germans break into his house and they throw a ferret in the tub and they say, Vivant the money, Lebowski. And he picks up the car, which is wrecked, and the briefcase, aka the million dollars, is gone. So the dude finds a child's school paper in his car and he figures he has the briefcase. So the dude, Donnie, and Walter go to the house and the dad's in an iron lung and they ask little Larry where the money is. And then the dude says he'll cut his dick off. And then Walter destroys the kid's fancy car with a crowbar and says, Do you see what happens when you f a stranger? And they ask Larry, but they don't find the money. Back at the dude's apartment, Wu and Jacob from Lost show up and say that Johnny Treehorn wants to see him. So they go to his house and he asks the dude where the one million dollars is. Then he spikes the dude right through Russian, causing him to have a weird trip of doom where Mod's a Viking and Saddam Hussein is in it. And the dude flies through women's legs and wakes up in the back of a cop car. So they take him to the station and the cop kicks him and tells him to stay out of Malibu. Then we see Bunny driving in a red convertible and she's alive and she has all of her toes. So that mystery solved, but we still don't know where the money is. Then the dude comes back to his apartment. It's been trashed. Mod is there and they have SEX and she says that she wants to get pregnant. Then the Germans are in a dino ordering pancakes. Side note, Amy Mann is one of them and her toe is missing which means the Germans sent the toe, so that we know. Then the dude tells Walter's theory on what happened. Lebowski never wanted his wife back, so he didn't put any money in the briefcase, hoping that they'd kill her. Then they drive over to Lebowski to confront him. They find Bunny there, and she's drunk, so the dude's like, where's the f***ing money, Lebowski? See how the tables have turned? Back at the bowling alley, the Germans set the dude's car on fire and say that they want the money or else they'll kill Bunny. The dude says he knows that they never had her. Walt starts to fight the Germans. He bites off one guy's ear, then Donnie has a heart attack and dies. Uh, so they push the ashes into a coffee can, and they toss them over a cliff into the ocean, but most of them get on the dude. Back at the bowling alley, the dude runs into the narrator from the beginning of the movie, and he says it's a shame that. Donnie died, but there's a little Lebowski on the way, and it was a pretty good movie, don't you think? Something like that. That, my friends, is The Big Lebowski. And remember to click subscribe to the channel, because every time you click subscribe, whoa, what's this? This is me calling you personally to say, thanks for clicking subscribe. How did I get your number? I thought it and just knew because we're connected in our heartstrings and mind beats. Hello? You hung up on me, but our relationship has not been severed in any way. I love you.